No, I think we're just ready to get on the trail. You know, it's all about the dogs now. Um, the dogs are what we focus on, and I think that's why everybody showed up down here on the street today is because we love the dogs. I don't know. I've been sending back pictures already, and the race hasn't even started. So. And what are they saying? Uh, they're excited. I mean, in Alabama, we know about this race. So, I mean, people just can't believe we've got this opportunity. To see the Iditarod and to visit Alaska is my 50th state to visit. And so I, I really like winter travel, and so when I was kind of figuring out what to do, I realized the Iditarod was running, and so I planned my trip actually completely around this race. Um, a kid feels at graduation when they've like just completed their PhD. You know, I, I'm really excited. Um, I'm looking forward to all sorts of other ideas, and uh, this could be great. It's gonna be a great time to say thank you, but it's also going to be a great time to graduate onto a lot of other things. This is my 36th. The, re the reaction has been overwhelmingly positive. We are absolutely making a difference here. Um, many people have been um, shocked and horrified to learn that five dogs, Groovy, Flash, Deacon, Schilling, and Smoke, tragically lost their lives all in the span of one week at last year's Iditarod. Um, you know, people are misled about what goes into to this race and they're not aware of the cruelty behind it. 150 dogs have died since the Iditarod's inception, but those are only the reported numbers. They don't include dogs who died immediately after the race, um, dogs who die during training, or the thousands of dogs who are commercially bred every year for the sled dog ra racing industry. Well, the two years that I was filming, um, I saw a lot of dogs being brutalized, and um, I, you know, I had to come. I had to stand for them. I had to let the people know, the public know, what really goes on behind sled dog operations. Um, you know, according people only see the beginning and end of the Iditarod. They don't see what goes on in between. They don't see what our film portrays of sick. Um, dogs bleeding uh, from their anus, uh, so tired they can't eat and drink, and so exhausted that they're limping and yet are still forced to race. This isn't what the Iditarod was supposed to be. It wasn't what it was supposed to commemorate. 